Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome to My Halal Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a fabulous fall soup recipe. Acorn squash and apples. It's wonderful and it's full of healthy seasonal ingredients that you're going to love. So I'm going to tell you what ingredients you need and I'm going to talk about them a little bit and then I'm going to show you how to make it. So you'll need one acorn squash, which looks like this, a little bit heavy too. Or you can use two smaller ones, and these are just white acorn squash that I grew in my garden this year. You'll need two uh, gala apples, or you can also use Macintosh. I just wouldn't use anything tart like a green apple. You'll need a half a cup of yellow onion, diced. Some herbs like dried marjoram, dried parsley, black pepper, and salt. You might want to substitute thyme or tarragon or even add them to this, but I keep it pretty simple here. You'll also need about a couple of ta two tablespoons of butter and a little bit of olive oil for sauteing. And I like to combine them just for flavor and also for um, heat tolerance. Butter has a higher tolerance for heat and I want to really nicely brown the onion and apple here. Now the really important healthy ingredient here is broth and I'm going to talk a little bit more in depth about them but you can use either vegetable broth or chicken broth and Saffron Road has two varieties of chicken broth and both of them are just wonderful. So let's start talking about acorn squash. Um, you can find these right now in the fall season at farmers markets, grocery stores, uh, in, in just, just about everywhere today. And this is a wonderful fall vegetable. It's a little bit heavy and it has these beautiful ridges that run vertically across it. Um, it's, just, it's just lovely. Um, the thing about it is though that it's a little bit difficult to cut. And so I just wanna make sure that you're doing it safely when you do cut it. Um, just make sure that you're on a stable surface and nothing is wet. Your hands aren't wet, the knife isn't wet, and of course the vegetable isn't wet because it's, uh, you will cut into the, the ridges here, but it can be a little bit slippery for that reason. Um, so you just wanna make sure that when you're cutting in, everything is nice and stable and secure, because once you get in, it's, it's pretty easy to, to kind of um, pull it apart, but the initial cutting is a little bit uh, rocky because of the way it, it rolls a little bit like that. Um, so that's, uh, once you, are, you cut your acorn squash, you're going to actually roast it for about an hour in the oven. So this is something you can do the day before, the night before, and then proceed to the rest of the steps the next day if you want. And just sort of breaks up the recipe a little bit. Now I've roasted my squash here. Um, I, basically, I lined a baking sheet with parchment paper, which makes cleanup really easy. And I sprinkled the acorn squash with salt, pepper, my herbs of parsley and marjoram and drizzled some olive oil on it. I baked it for one hour at 350 degrees and that's just it becomes a texture that I that is really easy to work with. It's soft inside so I can just sort of scoop it out into the pot when I'm ready to start the soup. So that's a really great way to just get the recipe started and like I said you can do this the night before, day before. So let's talk about broth. What is it and why is it so important to a healthy diet? Well, broth is also known as stock. And basically, if you remember your grandmother or great-grandmother talking about it, they would basically use the whole animal uh, at all times. So, for example, they might use the meat of the chicken for uh, soup, but then save all the bones and put that into a pot with water and vegetables and maybe some herbs. And the result would be after cooking for a very long time, several hours or overnight, the, re the result would be this wonderfully golden uh, broth or stock that would be used to add to soups and stews. We know now that broth is a great way for your body to easily absorb trace minerals and other things like calcium and phosphorus and magnesium. So it's really important to add that to your soups and stews rather than just adding water. And although making your own broth and stock at home can be a pretty cumbersome uh, thing to do, it is possible. But I think from a halal perspective, we're always looking at, you know, doing everything ourselves because we can't find quality ingredients in the stores. Um, but right now, it's so exciting because we can find halal 
and very healthy broths uh, by Saffron Road. And they have these wonderful uh, varieties of broths in the stores now. One is a vegetable broth, so if you want to make an all vegetarian kind of soup, you can use that. And they also have a traditional chicken uh, broth and an artisan roasted chicken broth, which are all just wonderful. And they're not made with any MSG, there are no glutens. And the chicken uh, in the chicken broth is not just halal, but it's also tayyab, it's pure. It's zabiha as well. So we want to make sure that that's the kind we're choosing. And aside from that, you know, if you were to go into the store and buy um, stock cubes, they're also called buyin, um, they are full of salt typically and lots of dehydrated uh, spices and, um, you know, just things that you don't want to have in your diet. And for example, if you buy soup packets and you want to add that to, you know, your soup that you're making, a lot of times those are full of salt and MSG, and you just really want to avoid that as much as possible. So try to use Saffron Rhodes broth. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make the soup. It's a pretty easy process, and I'm not actually using a burner, but I just want to show you how simple it is to get the soup going. And once everything's in the pot, you're looking at about 20 minutes of cooking time before you can actually enjoy it. So we're going to start out by adding the butter to the pan. Now, once this uh, is heated up, you want to let it froth a little bit, and that means that you'll just start to see some bubbles in the butter. And that just means it's gotten heated up really nicely. You don't want it to brown. Then you'll add a little bit of olive oil, about a tablespoon. And that's just going to heat up really, really nicely together. And you don't want the olive oil to burn in any way, and that's actually why I've combined it with the butter so that it gives it a higher heat tolerance and then the flavor combination is just fabulous. So once that's nice and heated, we're going to add the onion. Now we want the onion to become translucent and soft, a little bit brown, but not too brown or burned, absolutely not burned. And once that gets going, we're gonna add the apples. The apples are going to get nice and brown and we don't want them to get mushy we just want them to be coated in all the butter and the oil and with the onions and just combine to form you know, just a really wonderful aroma. Use all your senses to make this soup. It's gonna smell fabulous. So once that gets underway, what we'll do is then scoop out the meat of each of the acorn squash. And that's really easy to do because you only need a spoon to do that. And you can just begin by cutting into the flesh and just popping it out. See how easy it comes out? And you wanna do that with both of the halves of the acorn squash. Okay, so then once that gets going, you're going to just mix it all in and you wanna really coat all of the ingredients, including that squash that you've just included. Now, you can add some more herbs and spices if you like, but you don't have to. Really, you just wanna start tasting it to make sure that it has enough salt and pepper and you know, it's got the flavor that you're really you know, enjoying. Then I'm going to add the two and a half cups of broth, and I'm using Saffron Road's artis artisanal chicken broth, which is so delicious, and it's got a flavor of its own, and it just really adds and doesn't overpower any of the, um, the flavors that I have going on in here. So I'll let this kind of cook all together and I'll bring it up to a boil and then I'll let it cook for about 20 minutes and you'll start to see everything thicken and if it starts to bubble a little too much you can just reduce the heat. Now what I like to use is an immersion blender to just sort of puree the soup a little bit so that it becomes the consistency that I really like. Now I like it to have some chunkiness of the apples in here, but you don't have to have that. You can puree the entire thing if you want it really nice and smooth. It's really up to you, but that's just the way I like it. And just remember if you use the immersion blender, you want to take this pot off the heat because you can really warp uh, the end of an immersion blend. So I've been cooking this soup for about 20 minutes and it smells amazing. Just can't wait to give it a try. Bismillah. Mmm, it's delicious. 
The squash gives it a little earthiness that I love to have in the fall. And the apples give it a little sweetness, but not too much. And the broth gives it just the right amount of complexity without overpowering the taste of the soup. So I hope you're really gonna try this recipe and many other fall recipes that I have on myhellokitchen.com. And I hope you'll enjoy the saffron road broths, which will add so much flavor to all your food. Thank you so much for watching. Assalamu alaikum.